The intent of this channel is if you're handy and you don't have unlimited funds or our intention is to show you how to take something that could be very inexpensive because it needs some work or something that is actually on the verge of being scrapped or discarded and using that opportunity to get you out there and enjoy it. Hey folks, SP Whister, Whisper back on the boat. One thing I wanted to show you folks is that the Catalina 25s come with the back of the settee. Goes from the bulkhead all the way forward to the quarter berth. And from the factory, this is just a sealed unit. So what I did was I went to a marine consignment store and I bought this door that is actually designed to go in the deck of a uh, fishing boat for gear to store below deck and I actually purchased these off of eBay these are the stainless steel poles that latch like this and what it does is it gives you a good six inches of storage from the back of the settee to the hull and I put this floor in that is uh, closing off this would just be an open space going down into the the bilge from here so I closed it off I put a little bulkhead back here I tabbed it in with fiberglass I put a cleat behind the settee here where these screws are so I could have something to fasten this little bulkhead here <clears throat> and this is kinda like the library on the starboard side so all of our documentation, all of our books, our resources, the repair manuals, and um, our maps and things like that go in this. And you can see it reaches pretty far forward, um, all the way to the end of the settee on the starboard side. And when the cushions are here, they just snap in, and you just undo the snap, fold the cushion down, and these are readily available. So I saw this on another uh, blog page of another Catalina 25 owner and uh, it just is the, one of the best things so to reinforce this you can't see it but what I did was I cut out a piece of marine ply that goes all the way around here because this is just like uh, maybe an eighth inch thick fiberglass sheet so behind here that these screws for this frame go into behind here is a uh, three-quarter inch thick piece of marine plywood that was traced out and then it's about an inch wide and then it's epoxy to the back side of this settee um, fiberglass and then I gave me a good foundation for my screws to go into and it also is rock solid in terms of when you sit on the settee and your back is against it this doesn't flex at all so um, so I added some strength into this whole thing as a result of cutting this big giant hole in it. The aluminum frame itself puts a lot of strength back in, but I wanted to be able to use these screws and go into something more than just an eighth inch of fiberglass. We did the same thing on the port side. <clears throat> Again, the shelf. This bulkhead forward here uh, was here. It's part of the cabinetry in the galley. and. The, um, another bulkhead forward here. I didn't go all the way forward with this one just because it's real difficult to reach up that way. The bulkhead is, is right there. So I could have, if I bought a bigger opening or I wanted to do another small opening there, I could. But um, I used cardboard templates to trace out the shape. I put the floor in it. And that floor is actually attached right here along the settee uh, storage compartment so um, so this is the uh, the dry storage over here so um, some you know all the dry goods storage goes in this compartment here so it's a good complement to what goes under the settee and this is really a quick access compared to taking the the bottom settee cushion off and getting into the storage underneath so 
the low volume stuff that you'd use infrequently goes here or the uh, mass storage stuff goes in here and um, when you need to replenish the stuff that's in this compartment here uh, it works out well when you put the settee cushions in you have no idea that that storage is there these types of compartment lids already have ventilation kind of built in so the air circulation is automatic again the reinforcing is behind this that I put in so really kind of a cool addition I'm really thankful that that uh, person that did the Catalina 25 blog uh, showed this because it's been a tremendous asset to the storage capacity and really gives us the ability to stay out on the water longer and actually require a lot less work just getting the day to the day stuff out instead of always relying on these small uh, well actually this is the largest storage on the boat is under these settees so that was a good solution and I really thank the person who posted that tremendously so one of the additional things I wanted to show you is up until I think uh, 81 if you have a traditional layout settee version of the Catalina 25 instead of the dinette version it actually had a small settee here and um, the keel trunk is here and what we did was we actually filled this in and made a settee out of it um, this year because we do a lot of um, electronic devices on the boat I put in one of the um, Sea choice um, charging ports so I've got 12 volt power here and then I've got two low voltage USB things here and that wire is run so here's the uh, storage compartment it just works out great along with all the other additional storage we added to the boat you can see that the Sea choice uh, panel is here the fuse is here I've run the wire along this so these cleats are put in place you can see they're in every corner to um, gain some strength to the keel trunk and then the settee top just sits on it um, the wire and cable is run along the bottom of this cleat through under this settee and then along the top here with the water line that's run to the sink you can see that it drops back down back there and then it's fished all the way around to the power supply so a nice little addition for storage um, easy to get to some dry goods goes in there and um, just works out nice so if you ever find a boat and you don't have enough storage this is one option for this particular version